I'll call the big deal police on my brother. Um, no, Joe French. I Joe apologize. French. And Six Matt feet Chuck. tall, 205 pounds, 26 years old. We might be we might be ending with a bang. We got some big boys in right now. Oh my now. god, another heavyweight bout. I love this. Mallory. And, and Mallory, again, Mallory. Okay, so Joe, Joe French at it. Do, doesn't look super polished. Doesn't look like a southpaw. He looks like a southpaw, and also like he looks like a dude that has had a thousand hockey fights. Yeah, I was literally gonna say, like, pulls your jersey over your head and starts throwing. That guy's broken a lacrosse stick over someone's head. Absolutely. It looks like we're waiting a moment for our, our fighters to make their way to the ring. Uh, often when you get a quick knockout or a quick stoppage, like yep. the, the story. Here is Joe, JF Mania French. Um, JF Mania is a great fight nickname. Oh. All right, so first of all, we accuse this gentleman of having numerous hockey fights, and then he comes out with a, like, a Canadian flag. Like, uh, could there be anything more <laughs> serendipitous? He just starts, like, slinging poutine and, I don't know. Poutine and punches. There it is, right there. That's it. I mean, you want a guy who's going to close out a Dude, show. Dude, can we give it up to Julie and Andrew for the matchmaker, too? There's so many giant guys. Yeah. How many dudes over 200 pounds? One. You got like, like a dozen? Yeah, like a dozen guys over 200 pounds. Another big dude here with Matt Chong. Yeah, Matt Chong, 5'11", five, five 200 pounds, 29 years old. Appears to be an orthodox fighter by the hype video again. You never really truly know. Kind of yeah, an interesting approach. Yeah, yeah. He, he might have some stuff. Yeah, I like kind of how he dips that overhand right That right back. hand yeah. specifically, I think, is something we're going to be looking out for. Please welcome, fighting out of the blue corner. He weighed in at 200 pounds. Fighting out of Born to Fly Fitness, trained by Vic Williams. He's an area VP, and tonight he's here to make an executive ring decision. Here is Matt Chong. All right. Matt Chong being booed by everyone in attendance, uh, except for Mark and I. Mark, you want to cheer on Matt Chong? Yeah, hey, Matt, you're, you're going to do a great job. Matt and I think Chong. that over right, overhand right is going to be the story of the fight. Matt Chong is listed as the area vice president. I feel like there, in this area, there is a vice president, yeah, it's, which it's is just, wild. Um, and uh, we'll see how this one plays out. Again, very little film to analyze. We got about three seconds of a hype video, but you got Joe French. Oh, so hold on, to clarify, he's not the vice president of this area. I, I can't say for sure, okay. but I'm fairly confident we only have one. Or is that like one of those things where like manifest it? He's yeah, like, I will oh, be he's, the vice yeah. president. And then he's like, yeah, no, no, I'm just, that's I'm the, I'm the area vice president. I anyway, like uh, Matt Chung looks like he's got a decent overhand right. Joe French being a lefty, that could be something that lines up with him. Uh, pretty well. We'll see how this floor with the final Chong's a big guy. French and our bigger. final bout tonight. Watch out! Watch out for your head. No wrestling. Keep your punches out. When I tell you to break, take a step back before you throw another punch. Good luck. Final bouts always tend to be the wildest bouts, and that's like not. Yeah, and a night like tonight, maybe not. But I mean, like historically, no, but they're always like they're pretty. always crazy. Like they they don't just come out and throw a couple jabs. People are like legitimately slamming chairs here, getting everyone hyped up. All right, here we go. Ready? All right, French, kind of, uh, kind of an interesting, a little bit of an awkward style. Uh, showboating early, and again, if if he gets, I don't know that he's necessarily showboating, so much as he's just kind of, just unorthodox. I'll, Chong appears to find a little success with the right hand, and. Uh, I think French better hope he doesn't find a lot of success. Chong swinging for the fences. I would like to see, so once they break here, which they're ultimately going to, Chong needs to dig to the body. Now, when I say dig to the body, dig where the body is, which in a lot of cases, looking at just how French is acting, it might be his head ultimately. Again, French is supremely <laughs> confident, and really, really cocky, and, and again, if he wins, it's gonna look great. And if he gets caught, it's, it's not. You come out in a robe, which was awesome. He has a big Canadian flag, awesome. Uh, doing the shimmy and everything, awesome. But you can't get knocked out doing Looks all that. Looks like he just shot for a double leg there. <laughs> Complain about uh, back of the head? 
Let's see. Chong is punching where where French's head is. Instead no. of where it's gonna be. Exactly. Yep, he's he's so gotta drop his offense. Chong's firing straight right missiles right down the pipe. But what he needs to do is see, again, he's just punching where his head is. He needs to drop that offense. He needs to sit down on that right hand and punch where the head's going to be. Watch, French ultimately dips under everything. He doesn't roll, he doesn't slip, he just sits down. And that's no knock on French. He's very effective with it so far. Good left hand but, by Chung there. Yeah. Now, what happened there is Chung added the third punch. In adding the third punch, French stood up. 10 seconds left. Difficult round to score. I'd probably give it to French, but it wasn't a blow up by any stretch. Yeah. I think I think French was slightly more effective, whereas Chong definitely was certainly uh, more of the agitator. He had a better output, you know, put his punch together. What they really need to do is tell him to drop that offense. And I don't mean to beat a dead horse, yeah, but yeah, he really you're, needs you're to drop it. You're not finding off. him. You got it. You got to aim like six inches lower. I mean, it'd be one thing, you know, if, if French were catching everything, you know, and, and stuff like that. But French just cornered. French just electric factory. Okay, French just French headbutted, headbutted his, his corner in the chest. In the chest. I, I would it's love the to be the camel pants again. That, that guy is, is an animal. You just tell. Oh, no you know? doubt. But he, he, French wound up and headbutted his coach in the chest. And by the way, if any of my fighters are watching home, if you ever, ever think to headbutt me in the chest, you're losing two fights that night. Just so you know. All right. That wasn't like a like a real that was a legitimate head. That was a Canadian was a real hockey deal. player yeah. headbutt, which right. French is now known to do. <laughs> Chong's hands are dangerously low. You know what it is? When French changes levels, Chong's hands goes to meet him, and as a result, his chin's exposed. Yep, see, he got caught there. Yeah, see, I would like I would like to see Chong throw some uppercuts. Yeah. yeah, he whiffed on one there, but I think he has the right idea. Chong finding the left hook while um, French there came up with the straight left of his own. Chong, uh, Chong big guy. Uh, French, uh, bigger guy, right? It's stronger oh, yeah. of the two men, it yep. appears. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah Chong is a huge human being, <laughs> but he's the smaller man in the ring tonight. Additionally, too, this might be an example of what happens when you get a better boxer, right, on paper, in Chong, where he has better fundamentals, right? Fight someone that does things that aren't textbook. Really unorthodox, a lefty, a, a, clearly a big puncher, big guy. And again, you, you could say French is the worst boxer, right? Well, the worst boxer might win three rounds to none here tonight. He's, he's very effective so far. Chung can't seem to find him. He he's find not really him. advancing on his offense, too. He's throwing like a like a pocket one, two, three, and not really stepping with his punches. So when he misses with that first shot, French tends to be out of range for that two and that three. That straight right hand, that left hook at the end. Again, Chung's hands low, chin high. Ah, uh, you could call it a big right hand by French there. Yeah. Again, French landed a single right hand French. in the round. Acted like he won the Olympics and then threw Chung to the ground. <laughs> French is, I think he's complaining that Chung was holding him. Um, interesting. I, I think that was another. Yeah, French again, round. like it was. It was uh, I, I want to see what French does to his corner in between this round. Do you think he'll bite him? Just punch him in just the face. Just step on his foot. Or maybe he'll talk to one cornerman and suck at the other one. Yeah. All right, let's see if we can get a headbutt here. You're doing great. Look me in the eyes. He now headbutt me in the chest. Where in the that, chest? Look at, the, look at the triceps on the cornerman, by the way. That dude is yoked. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so now, look at third round, right? French, we, we know. He's awkward. He's strong. He's elusive. You're in Chong's corner. What the hell are you telling this guy? I, I, you got to tell him, like, hey, bud, you, you have to actually drive in on this guy. You got to lower your offense. You have to land clean shots. And, and again, is that oversimplified? Maybe. But sure. at the end of the day, he's not pressing hard enough. He's not stepping with his punches. And he's not dropping his offense. If he can't find his head, why aren't you attacking the body? His body's going to sure. be there. So, you know, the, the, it, get behind the one, 
throw some body shots, see if he can get his head to come up a little I, bit I'd and land something clean. I'd like to see Second Sean down, come in with a high right, guard, the just fans close on the distance. The only thing he's really getting caught with so the most far are of those level change left hands, round. right? French sits down, he comes up with a straight two. He sits down, he comes up with a straight two. That's where he's had success. Let's see if we do it again. Yeah, Ch Chung head hunting is not going to win this fight. He's, he's and the ref rights cautioned both. Yeah, he cautioned French for getting too low and Chong for tying up. Oh, Whoa. tornado punch the from Joe Canadian French. The Canadian twister. The zippity doo -dah. North of the border. They call that the Northern Lights. Oh, backhand from Chung. They are just, they're just trying new What did I tell you, dude? Good, the last fight's the best one every time. French. It's so wild. Did someone... It looked like French almost pointed to the ground at one point. Oh, oh good, good left hand by French. 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 French is yes. connecting. French is finally, <laughs> finally Oh, the connected. French connection, Marco. Oh, there it is. It's wonderful. Uh, Gene Hackman wins the end. I don't even, I, I think he gets shot in the back. I don't, it's been a while. There's a French connection, too. Yeah, nobody's seen the French connection, too, Matt. Mm, uh, if they have, I won't ruin it. Hard to see. All right, it looks like we have a minute left. In, in good the, oh, left hand. Good left hand, hand by hand. Joe French. Best, best punch. Joe, Joe I think Joe's chirping him and talking to him now. He's like, hey, yeah. You saw what I did to my cornerman. Yeah. <laughs> He's a strong dude, though, huh? He be, is powerful. Be, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And it's funny, again, if, if you had... It, from textbook perspective. Oh yeah, on paper, like who's the, who's the better quote boxer? It's gonna Chung be Chung. by a, by a, yeah, a landslide. Yeah. He's won exactly zero seconds of this fight. Great account of himself, you know. Yep. yep. Uh, hung in there the entire time. Was game the entire time. <laughs> Canadian hockey fans in, in attendance, absolutely going nuts. I think a, a pretty clear win for Joe French. Uh, Joe Joe French knows he won that fight. Matt Chung knows he lost that fight. I mean. Uh, d d Nothing to discredit uh, Matt Chong, but I mean, no. And again, he he, did, he gave a great account of himself. Never got really hurt. He he, he hit a couple left hands, you know. Um, he didn't attack his cornerman. Uh, for the best was how much they both loved the headbutt. Yeah, he's like, thank you for that. Oh, no doubt about it. Forehead to the chest. Ooh, missed on that high five, man. Yeah, that was the that was the biggest L of the night, that high five. Just putting the robe on. You always put the robe on when you know you win. So there was one fight in there. The Alberi uh Sedlicek yeah. fight that was really that was the close. greatest fight of all time. Yeah, which was unbelievably close. But everything else was I think we had a pretty um pretty clear cut winner. Oh yeah. Yep. Ladies and gentlemen, a well-deserved round of applause for both our ring warriors in this Great final bout on this historic evening here at the Anthem in the nation's capital, Washington, D.C., brought to you by Haymakers for Hope, K.O. Cancer. And the winner comes to us out of the red corner, Joe J.F. Mania no surprises there, Let's hear French. Very game, Matt Chong as well. It's going Again, home. Again, want to thank all of you for win. coming out.